Sonic is quickly heading our way. The most recent game for everyone's favorite digital hedgehog, Sonic Frontiers, was first revealed at Sonic Central. It shakes up the series by offering an open environment. Well, sort of. But how does Sonic in the free world even look? Sonic Frontiers has many unanswered questions, but because to Sega's abundance of knowledge, we do have some answers. So stay tuned for all the details about the new game that you don't want to miss. First up, Sonic Frontiers is seemingly fastly approaching, so let's take a look at everything you need to know. The most recent installment of this long-running cult series is called Sonic Frontiers. With the release of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie in theaters and the announcement of a game for the holiday season, 2022 appears to be a fantastic year for Sonic fans. Only a brief introduction trailer has been released thus far, but we do know when to anticipate the game and some gameplay details. Since Sonic Frontiers' release date is approaching, it's probable that we'll hear more about the game shortly. We've gathered all of the details we have about the game in the interim, from the date of release to specifics about the game's characters and environment. So what is the release date? Sega and Nintendo revealed that the release date for Sonic Frontiers is set for the holiday season of 2022. Despite the fact that there isn't yet a specific date, this makes us think that we will be able to spin sprint around this fascinating new planet somewhere in late November or early December of this year. Now, is there a trailer for the new upcoming game? Yes, the Gamescom 2022 opening night live display featured the most recent Sonic Frontiers trailer. It displays the game's setting and provides the player with their initial initial impressions of a potential opponent. We can see Sonic, or a Sonic running through a woodland, in the trailer. Sonic marks out a few markings while sprinting. As the camera pans out, Sonic's path becomes more obvious. It translates strange symbols. This has been read as the game's name by others, who translate it as Zap. However, there is still no evidence of such. It is evident from the clip that Team Sonic is once again in charge of creating this new game. Where have I seen that running before? Ask the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube account after the teaser. This suggests that the region Sonic is traversing is either an allusion to or a new version of an earlier locale. The scene where a zoomed-in Sonic sprints through a woodland at the opening of Sonic Adventure is the closest match. Next up, where is the game set? Well, Starfall Islands is the setting for Sonic Frontiers. On the Sonic Frontiers official website, there are characterized as follows, sceneries bursting at the seams with thick woods, gushing rivers, scorching deserts, and more. Now, Starfall Islands is considerably unlike any previous Sonic environment, as you can see in the trailer and screenshots in this article. It has a similar atmosphere to Breath of the Wild, and uses a more tranquil and organic color scheme. We do know that there will be open-world portions in the game. Sonic can move quickly through wide-open places. In fact, Sonic Frontiers appears to be open-world, at least in part. And this brings us to what you can expect from the gameplay. Sonic Frontiers is what Sega refers to as an open-zone game, which is not quite an open-world game. This implies that the game will consist of vast settings that have monsters and collectibles, but will invite players to wander around aimlessly. Earlier reviews of Sonic Frontiers expressed worry that the game's barren setting made it feel like a tech demo. However, in our preview, we referred to it as a oddball throwback with a certain appeal. Recent gameplay clips have demonstrated that Sonic Frontiers will live up to the must-go-fast expectation of the Sonic series. Cyberspace zones will also be available for individuals who want a stage design that is more conventional. As you advance through open zones in Sonic Frontiers, you will collect experience that will enable you to teach Sonic new techniques to exploit. Unlocking skills will therefore play a significant role in the game. This might be a technique to keep the gameplay seeming new in an open-world game. Now, speaking of the Sonic franchise, what other games can you play if you can't seem to get enough of Sonic? Every time a film based on the video game franchise is released, interest in the series is rekindled. To the joy of the audiences, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 featured Ben Schwartz as the film's titular character and Jim Carrey as the villainous Dr. Robotnik. Now, after finishing their playthroughs of the Sonic games, fans of the series will seek out similar types of gameplays. Fortunately, there are are many choices because gameplay aspects from Sonic games, such as platforming, speed-based mechanics, anthropomorphic characters, and quick action, can be found in many different games. First up, Freedom Planet. You probably anticipated seeing Freedom Planet on this list if you are familiar with it. Before becoming an original title, the game was originally a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, although the influence is still very clear. One of the three main characters in Freedom Planet will be under your control, Mia, the Basset Hound, Lilac the Dragon, or Carol the Wildcat. The gameplay is heavily influenced by Sonic's 2D adventures, with players rushing through levels and avoiding obstacles on platforms. However, the game distinguishes itself by relying on a health system rather than ring gathering, as well as an expanded set of attacks and special moves that are specific to each character. Next up, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Although Insomniac Games began with Spyro, Spider-Man development is mostly responsible for the company's current reputation. Due to the fact that both protagonists are anthropomorphic animals with unique abilities, the platform is similar to Sonic. Fans of Sonic will 
love the Spyro Reignited trilogy because it contains three games in one. The basic goal of the video game is to gather goods that Spyro needs to maintain peace on several worlds, and the level design includes perilous terrain that must be avoided. Another great game you need to try is the classic Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Considering that Rift Apart is the most recent and well-polished Ratchet & Clank game to date, Sonic lovers will enjoy it. Players must contend with mechanical monsters or adversaries who have undergone genetic modification, much like Sonic, and necessitate various strategies during combat. Fans of Sonic will be reminded of Sonic's speed, which allows him to easily traverse regions, by Rift Apart's instantaneous travel function. The idea of the game is that when the hero team encounters a female representative of Ratchet's species, they learn more about his ancestry. Next up, The Pathless. After the release of the Sonic Adventure series, 3D gaming became increasingly popular in the Sonic games. The more recent games featuring the Sega mascot kept the emphasis on forwards movement, with smooth movement, branching paths, and difficulties placed in ways that don't slow you down as you race over various environments. The Pathless includes all the aspects that contemporary Sonic games have been aiming for, yet having a different visual and narrative style than the normal Sonic game. Maintaining your speed is key to controlling the Hunter, the game's primary character. As you fire the talismans strewn over her cursed island, you'll replenish your energy meter, allowing you to retain your momentum and keep exploring the region. You also get an eagle buddy in the game that can fly with you, much like a certain twin-tailed fox. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games is another great game to try out. This Sonic game differs from previous entries in the franchise, even though it contains some typical cliches from the ordinary Sonic game. The key factor is Mario's appearance, because he and Sonic are the stars of the Olympic activities that take place from 2008 to the present. Although it's not a typical Sonic element, gamers can nevertheless draw comparisons to the franchise's mainstay games because of the protagonist's accessibility. Since Mario and Sonic are to be used in sporting challenges similar to those seen in the Olympics, the games lack a narrative to get lost in. Next up, if you haven't tried this one already, Rocket League is a great video game. There is a very devoted fan base for Sonic, so these fans of the game will certainly enjoy Rocket League. The sport of football is modified in the game by using race vehicles, and many people can participate at once during lengthy gameplay sessions. Speed is a key aspect in this situation, because racers must accelerate aggressively to win the ball. Similar to Sonic, control is crucial in this game as well, and players must maneuver the ball well to dodge opponents and score goals. And finally, the OG Super Mario Brothers. Due to how similar their styles and execution were, the Sonic series and Mario games used to have a healthy rivalry. Super Mario Brothers can be compared to Sonic in its heyday because the latter is still as entertaining and current as the classic Sonic games. Super Mario Brothers is wonderful for having some fun, but it's still quite difficult. Because the Mario series and Sonic franchise are to blame for ushering in the golden age of gaming, the straightforward level design and music are bound to evoke sentiments of nostalgia. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Sonic Frontiers and its release date, along with other need-to-know details. Now, make sure you let us know your thoughts down below, and as always, thanks for watching.